one last update for Phoenix Labs Dauntless will be arriving on May 2nd, and will be the final one before the games dive into open beta. This update brings a new progression system, a reputation system for quest rewards, a new world map, and some real endgame content. Just in time for the closed beta's character reset, the new update will be launching on May 2nd, and will be bringing with it a boatload of new content for you Dauntless players. The one that has most players excited, is the announcement of endgame content, which brings about the Evergame, with newer monsters, hunt modifiers, heroic difficult encounters, and new rewards worthy of these challenges. These new, grueling alpha behemoths for you hardcore slayers to defeat include, a firebrand Cherog, Razorwing Karabakh, Frostback Panger, Bloodfire Ember Rain, and reworked Moonreaver Shrike and Deadeye Quillshot. Alongside these new behemoths, Phoenix Labs have also introduced unique hunt modifiers to their islands, which will challenge the players to adapt to the situation the game throws at them, and also some heroic difficulty encounters for those brave enough to tackle them. Those dauntless players who triumph over these challenges are given new, exotic weapons and armor, each with its own unique looks, specialized features, and abilities. They're even throwing in a transmog system, in the form of transmog stones, for those of us who like to hunt in style. But there's still even more content added to this patch. Phoenix Labs are also adding a progression system. Dauntless new progression system is not merely an update to quest lines or crafting requirements, but a new platform on which we'll build the stories of this world, your relationships with the characters that inhabit it, and the content we'll be adding for years to come. A reputation system, with daily and weekly quests, slayers can look forward to winning the favor of three characters in this update and the launch of open beta, for new weapons, armor, and lanterns, with more to come in the future. More choices on how players wish to hunt, embarking on a patrol, gives slayers the option to pick the zone they'll hunt in, but not the specific behemoth or island. You'll also receive bonus Archonite for your contributions. The new, expedition, option allows slayers to specify the island they'll hunt on, but not the behemoth, perfect for rounding up gatherables. You'll also bring back an additional bundle of gatherables from the island you hunt on. Players looking to choose the behemoth they'll hunt can do so by embarking on a pursuit. Island rotations, as well as hinting at new maps, islands will rotate in and out of the range of Ramsgate throughout the life of Dauntless. This means that the islands you explore and the activities that are available on them will change over time. We're hard at work on two new islands, heavily influenced by player feedback, and you can look forward to discovering them in the Seeking the Horizon update. And finally, some changes to the gear, new armor set bonuses, new gear keywords, an overhauled cell system, and the ability to resocket cells are all included. Check out our preview for a more in-depth look at Dauntless. Will you be playing the open beta when it's released? Let us know. So